Portugal's centre-right Democratic Alliance has won the general elections. Its leader, Luis Montenegro, said that though it was still unclear if he could govern without the support from far-right Chega, with whom he again refused to negotiate, Chega's parliamentary representation more than quadrupled to at least 48 lawmakers in the 230-seat legislature, giving the combined right a majority. Earlier, the leader of Portugal's centre-left socialists conceded defeat in the parliamentary elections. Pedro Nuno Santos's party came in second to its centre-right rivals by a razor-thin margin. The centre-right Democratic Alliance and its Madeira allies won a total of at least 79 seats in the last in the 230-seat parliament. The Socialist Party came second with 77, and the combined right clearly dominated the new legislature. The Socialist Party leader Pedro Nuno Santos's concession speech it then erased all doubts about the winner when he congratulated the Democratic Alliance on its victory despite his party's late surge in the tally. Santos said his party would now lead the opposition, which could not be left in the hands of Chega. The Socialist Party has been in power since late 2015. It had been trailing the Democratic Alliance in most opinion polls. After Socialist Prime Minister Antonio Costa resigned in November amid a corruption investigation, this could have pushed a significant number of countries, 10.8 million people, to vote for a radical right populist party.